Finally, I have decided to share my lessons on Cebuano writing, especially news writing in Cebuano language, here on my personal YouTube channel. The modules I am sharing here are from the lessons when I had my teaching job at the University of San Jose Recoletos in Cebu City from uh, 2007 to 2012. Mass communication and journalism students, this is for you. Radio broadcasters and journalists in the Visayas and Mindanao areas who are writing news in Cebuano or Visayan language, you can also use these uh, lessons here. I would be producing one lesson after another and upload here on my personal YouTube channel. So please subscribe this channel and like the alert button to remind you of new videos. In this module, we are going to learn the Cebuano alphabet or Sinugbuano Titikanan, how to use the letters of the Cebuano alphabet. The modern Cebuano alphabet has five vowels and 14 consonants. Originally, according to historians and linguists, there were only three vowels in the Cebuano alphabet. The A, the I, and the U. But since the language is evolving and we are now adopting more words from English and Spanish and probably from other foreign languages, then we adopt the international alphabet. We have added the letters E and O in the alphabet. Our five vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. And the consonants are B, K, D, G, H, L, M, N, P, R, S, T, W, N, Y. And not in the alphabet are the letters C, C, H, F, J, W, L, N, Y, P, H, Q, W, R, V, X, and Z. Now, here's the guide how to use C, C, H, F, J, L, L, N, Y, P, H, Q, R, R, V, X, Z in the Cebuano language. And of course, those letters should be converted to the Cebuano language based on our rules. So, C before A, O, and U becomes K. Like, for example, carro. It becomes carro. Letter K. Common, it becomes common. Another condition for letter C. If it is before E, I, and e, I, it becomes S. Like the word centro or center. It's centro, letter S. Civil, it becomes civil. For CH, it becomes TS. Like China. Uh, sa ato na is China. Chicharon. Sa kar -kar. Is Chicharon. Then F becomes P. Like Filipinas. Filipinas. J becomes H. July. Holyo. Japanese. Japanese. Double L becomes LY. Like Celio. Silio. It is uh, the seal. Uh, Cochilio. Knife. Cochilio. Enye becomes NY, señal or the sign, señal, señor, señor Santo Niño, señor. Q before UI becomes KI, mannequin, mannequin, máquina, máquina, taquilla, taquilla. Q before UE becomes KE, like plaque, it becomes plaque, tanque, it's querida. RR becomes R, Carrera, Carrera, Correo, Aras. Aras yung medyo aslum, no? It's sour, it's too sour. So, and it's somewhat like irritating to your uh, throat. <laughs> Aras. V becomes B, Aviva, Abiba, Pabor, Bino. Now, this one. X becomes KS. Exacto. That's from the word exact. So your insacto is wrong. Insacto. So where did you get the I-N? <laughs> okay. Exact is from the word exact. So when you translate exact, you write down E for E, 
X, then it becomes KS, A, then A, C becomes K, T, T, down, so exacto. There's no I in there. Exacto. Not insacto. Examine, examination. Then Z becomes S, cruzada, lapis, azul. Azul. Azul is blue. But again, we relax the, the, the rule. We adapted the Spanish word and we make it as a Cebuano word. From azul, it becomes azul. That's blue. The letter A or the vowel, patingog, patingog sa tua. In Tagalog, it's patinig. So the vowel A should be a short A. As in abaga, baha, dalaga. It's not a long A as in base, mate. And A, a short A is used in adopted English word like natural, abnormal. Those are English words, but when we read it and we say it, it's like it's a Cebuano word. <laughs> okay? For E, the general rule is I should be used instead of E in all native words. Native words. Okay? Like baki. Iring. It's not iring. It's not iro, but iro. Then, E should be used in adopted foreign word with same sp spelling. Like alegre. Alegre is Espanol, but e also consider it already as a, Cib a Cibuano, a Binisaya. So, alegre. The same spelling. E. Bote, entrante, esposa, gabinet, gabinete. Gabinet is cabinet. Esposa is spouse. Libre and pizza. And E should be used in foreign words with different consonants. Consonant spelling. Like coche. Uh, we spell it as K-O-T-S-E. The original is C. N with C-H. But C-H becomes T-S. So coche. You don't change the E in coche. You retain the, coach, the E in, in coche when you translate that to Cebuano. And also pizza, fuerte, camote, and leche. Exception. Because in every rule, there is an exception. So here in the Cebuano alphabet, there are also exceptions. So, exception. When a Spanish word has no same sound equivalent English word or vice versa, the E should be changed to I. Again, when a Spanish word has no same sound equivalent English word or vice versa, E should be changed to I. Like capella. It's capilla. And capilla in English is church, uh, chapel. So, <laughs> layo Impazzo, escultor, estacion, and estilo. Another exception. When a foreign word is adopted as a native word, E is changed to I. So, ang spelling malahi. Atake, espijo, mantel, tendera, Caldero, Vintana. So originally, these words are not native words, but it existed long, long time ago. When I was young, I always heard the word espijo, and that refers to salamin, mirror, salmon, and also mantil. Mantil is a tablecloth. So those words are Spanish words, but we adapt those, those words. So it becomes a Cebuano. Tindera, Caldero, Vintana. Those are Spanish words. Binato, I don't know, <laughs> Cebuano word, but it's not. It's not a native Cebuano word. So we just changed the E to I. Another exception. When a Spanish word with an I has an equivalent English word, but with an E, the English word shall be adapted instead. Like actress in Spanish, but there's also an actress in English. So you follow the English spelling, actress. So you change actress to A-K-T-R-E-S. It's not I because the original, the Spanish word actress is I-Z. But since there is an English word, it, it's a bit sound like, uh, it's similarly the same sounds, then we use the English word as our reference, actress. Another exception. When a borrowed root word ended in E and joined with a suffix, E is changed to I. Like baile, baile, tibu kalibutan. So baile, when you put 
Han at the end, suffix Han, so it becomes I, ang I sa baile. So, bailihan. Kamote, kamutihan. Higante, higanting. Okay? Kape, kapihan. I read sometimes, kapehan ang spelling. It should be kapihan, P-I. Okay? Because of this rule. Again, uh, here's another rule for this time, for I. The general rule is, I should be used in all native words. Again, I mentioned that a while ago. So, bake, iti, kitiw, pinili, bahi, gahi, iti, iring, iro. But there are exceptions again. Like the words, babay. Okay? These are native words, huh? Pangaje, butete, sikwate, dai. Again, uh, let me remind you, babay should be babay, not babaye. It's babay. Daig is daig, not daig. But the spelling is daig. Babay is babaye ang spelling. But it should be read as babay and daig. Next, I should replace ue, ui, and uie. Gera, gia, guerrilla. Now, here's the ONU rule. This is very common topic. And this is very often um, interchanged. The ONU. So, again, there are rules here. And by the way, we are following the rules adopted by the Akademiang Bisaya. The Visayan Academy of uh, the Cebuano language, which is uh, an authority when it comes to our the uh, when it comes to the development of our language, uh, the Academy of Visaya is uh, acknowledged by the Cebu Provincial Board through a resolution. So, sila ang authority, and we must follow them. Uh, you don't say na nagbuot buot lang na sila. They are experts, okay, and they are just followers. So. We have rule number one for the O for the U and O. Rule number one is U must be used in the first and middle syllables. Syllables. Unang silaba. Silaba. Uh, silaba. Dioy. Kitara. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. So again, the U should be used in the first and middle syllables. Example for the U in the unang silaba, the first syllable. Bughat, kusi, tulu, bulan, buang, umagad, ugangan. Now, you know the spelling of buang. It's not O. It's B-U. <laughs> In the middle syllable, or sulod nga silaba, hapuhap, pangutana, habuhabu, matuod, taod-taod, hinuon, and bituon. So, bituon, it's not all O. The middle is U. Rule number two. O must be used in the last syllable. Katapusang silaba. Like, pako, lungsod, taog, dako, tulo, matod, nasod. The last two words are often mistaken as U. Matod, as in matod nila. It's U, so matod nila sa kanta, di ba? But it should be O, matod. Nasod also. Sometimes it's spelled as U, nasod. But it's O. Based on this rule. Rule number six does A. Actually, this is, uh, I'm using the handout of Edgar Gudin, one of the members of the Academy of Bisaya, and he's also a uh, Cebuano writer, Bisayan writer. So, rule number six does A. O and U shall be retained in repeated action words. Action words. Luxo, luxo. Those are two words, but the same words, inuulit lang, nirepeat lang, inibalik-balik. So, luxo means jump. When you say luxo, luxo, then, take note, it has a hyphen. Luxo, luxo, it means it's not jumping actually. It seems like he is jumping. Lukso, lukso. Hubo, hubo. It seems like he is uh, naked, but it's but actually he is not. Okay? Dakop, dakop. 
Inom-inom. Actually, he's not drinking, but it seems like he's drinking. Inom-inom. But both hubog-hubog. In our future discussions on the hyphen and dash, we will explain the the rule here why there are repeated words with a hyphen and others don't have a hyphen. Okay, we will discuss that in uh, other modules. Next rule, rule six B. O if in the last syllable and U if it's in the first and middle syllable. So you adopt the original uh, rule on O and U for the native words. So taod taod, you see, there's no, take note, there's no hyphen. Taod taod, if you break taod taod into two words, it cannot stand. Taod uh, doesn't have a meaning and the other taod with O doesn't have a meaning. So it's a root word, one word lang siya. So, taod, taod. So, the U in the first and middle syllable and the O in the last syllable. Taod, taod. Buko, buko. Although, buko, buko, if you, if you split that, there's word buko. But the buko is from the, the buko is from the, um, the Tagalog word, <laughs> buko for coconut. Bagol, bagol. There's also word bagol. Diba? But it's, the bagul bagul here refers to the skull. Then huna huna, sometimes you put a hyphen there. There's a difference between huna huna with a hyphen and without a hyphen. I will discuss that later in another module. Habu habu and toy toy. Next, the O and U in repeated proper noun. So you adopt the rule in rule 6B. So the last or the first and middle syllable should be U and the last syllable should be should be O. Here to batuba poro U, it's all U because it's in the first and the middle syllable of the word. Another rule O and U a U and O is always retained when the root word is affects, meaning um there's another uh set of letters or words. That is being affixed or added to the root, to the root word. Himo plus on. Suffix on. Himo on. And take note, the spelling of O in Himo is retained in Himo on. Handumanan. From Handum and Anan. Long Suranon. Next, U is retained in words when the first syllable is repeated. Like for example, Tudlo. When you change that, to, when, it's become, when it becomes Magtutudlo, Tudlo, the first syllable of Tudlo, T-U, is repeated. You retain the spelling of U in Tudlo. So, mag to Tudlo. mag hukom mag susulat And that's all for now. So, until the next time, I'll uh, discuss another topic here. So, please uh, subscribe to this channel. And uh, click that alert button so that you'll be informed of another lecture or video here about Cebuano journalism or the Cebuano language. Dekan selamat! Ako si Jun Tariman.